Welcome to Tank Brick Studio. In this video, I want to share how we can modify our modular buildings to create a bigger pedestrian walkway while still maintaining the base plate size. Here is a townhouse modular building from the set pack shop 10218. The one on the right is the original build, while the one on the left has been modified. The empty space behind the building cannot be seen most of the time, so I decided to shift the building backwards leaving no empty space at the back. Now the pedestrian walkway is doubled to 8 studs wide, compared to the previous 4 studs. The modification is straightforward, and the only additional parts I needed were the dark bluish grey tiles for the pavement. As a city builder, we all like to populate our city with minifigures and create stories of their life and activities. In the original build, we can barely put one minifigure on the walkway. In the expanded walkway, now I can place a lot more min minifigures and post them to tell stories easier. It looks more realistic compared to the narrow walkway. If you are curious about the featured minifigures, Wait till the end credits to find out more. Now, let's say I want to add a street lamp which comes in every modular set. The original pavement is now blocked. There is only one stud spacing on each side, so a normal minifigure cannot pass through it. On the widened walkway, there is so much room to decorate the streets. The street lamp sits nicely with still enough room for two minifigures to pass through. The townhouse owner can have a chat by the stairs with neighbors and not block the entire walkway. To me, the street lamp is for lighting the pedestrian walkway. So now, I'm adding a lamp for the road. I can already imagine adding fire hydrant, trees, benches, or maybe even a bus stop. Let's put in a car by the street, now the proportion looks realistic. Comparing it to the original, it is way too cramped and kind of dangerous for the minifigures. Again, look at the wasted space at the back. From this view, you can see that the build is the same. I also want to ensure that whatever modifications I do, they are contained within the same base plate size. In this case, 16 by 32 base plate. You can see that the buildings look the same, brick by brick. The only difference is their positioning on the base plate. Let me match the building walls to show you. Again, let's compare visually how much walkway space was created from this modification. The only modification required is on the ground floor. Simply pull out the building block and reattach it to the base plate 5 studs back. The most time consuming part is the moving of the tiles on the base plate which require me to move them one by one. Here are the upper floors. There is no need to modify them since I kept the building structure on the ground floor the same. I can just plug them back on top and the entire process took me less than 30 minutes. I will not be having two of the same modular buildings in my city. So I will combine them and increase one level to this townhouse. Here's a comparison of the townhouse after modification, placing them beside other original modular buildings. Looking at the sides, it is obvious they do not match well. As you can see here, all the other modular buildings have this empty space behind them. So, my plan is to shift all of them backwards, ensuring the same wide pedestrian walkway and proper alignment of the buildings. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel for more exciting content about my LEGO hobby. Next up, credits of minifigure appearances on this video. Enjoy!